Hey guys, what's up? And today, we're going to talk about a potential move that could see Mr. Matt Chapman himself coming over to the Yankees. Not to play third base, though, but to play shortstop. Now, I understand why people would want Matt Chapman. He's an he's a excellent defensive third baseman. Absolutely is. He's one of the best in baseball, right? His bat has come down. It's come down a lot. What are you, 211 last year? 210? 27 home runs. But the thing is with bringing in Chapman, you're bringing in a right-handed bat, which the Yankees have too much of that. You're bringing in a very good defensive player, an excellent defensive third baseman. But you're bringing in a guy that isn't going to make too much of an impact in that lineup, and that's what the Yankees need, honestly. They need a left-handed bat and somebody who's going to make an impact in that lineup, in my opinion. Matt Chapman, does he do that? No, he's not a left-hander. And his bat has gone down a lot. 211, 210 batting average, 314 on base percentage. And he's a third baseman. Now, the Yankees apparently want him to play short. Okay, you could say, Joe, the shifts, bada bing, bada boom, all that stuff. All right, I, I, I understand that. So he might have some experience on that side of the of the field, right? But in playing official games at short, he's only played four games, his whole MLB career at shortstop. Take the shifts out of, out of your head for a second. He's only played in four games at short. So you're telling me that you're going to go trade for a guy who's only played four games at shortstop and you're going to make him your shortstop. Tell me if that makes any sense. To me, it doesn't. And listen, I'm not hating on Chapman. He's a good ball player. But let's face it, he had 210 last year. Good 27 home runs. I understand that. But when you have Jir Urshela, who could do the same thing, he could, he could play short, right? He, he's good defensively. He could play shortstop. He hit 267 last year, 40 points better than Chapman, or 50 points better than Chapman math. And you're telling me that you want to get Chapman to play short and Urshela third base? First of all, you put Chapman at third base, not Urshela. Urshela's still your stopgap. So what's the freaking point? What's the point of making that move? Now, the only way that I can see this making any sense is if Chapman is attached to somebody else, right? You have Chapman attached to Matt Olson. Chapman attached to a pitcher, maybe even a catcher, Murphy. That makes sense to me. But to just bring in Matt Olson, if it's on a standalone deal, does not make any sense whatsoever. He's a third baseman. If you're bringing Matt Chapman in, have him play third base, keep Rochelle at short. It makes no sense. But then why are you bringing Chapman in in the first place then when you could have just had Dizzy LeMahieu, who you're paying $15 million a year for, at third base to begin with? Unless you want LeMahieu playing first base and you're saying, screw you, Anthony Rizzo, we don't want you. What's, what's the plan? And then you could say bringing in Matt Chapman, right? Bring in Matt Chapman, okay? Put him at shortstop. Let's just say Gio at third base. Makes no sense. Then you have LeMahieu who's, who's playing a little bit of here, a little bit of there, a little bit of first, a little bit of third base, a little bit of second base when Glaber needs a day. So you have DJ who's just going around the field, Right? I don't, I don't know. I mean, you would have the same situation if you were, were to bring in, let's say, a Carlos Correa. Same situation. Correa at short, Gio at third, DJ around the infield. You would think, I personally want Rizzo. Love to have him back. That's just what I want. But then you do have this ball player you're paying 15 mil a year for going around the infield. Now, was Glaber a part of the Oakland trade? Then if Glaber's going to Oakland, DJ plays second now. So now you have DJ, who's a very good second baseman, playing his natural position. Gio at third. 
Chap at short. But like I said, that doesn't make sense. Put Chapman at third base, Geo at short. Then you have Voight at first or Matt Olson. So that makes a little more sense. So listen, we don't know the context of how Chapman's coming over. If it's just Chapman. Now imagine if we did this, a Glaber for Chapman swap. I'm not saying it's a good one. I'm just saying imagine if we did. Then DJ's your second baseman. Chapman, I can't see them. I can't see him being a shortstop, though. When you have Urshela, who could play shortstop, and you have Chapman, who's a very good third baseman, I can't see him playing shortstop. If you have Chapman, to me, he's playing third base. He's not your shortstop. There's no way. Just put her, keep Urshela there. There's no way. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Am I talking out of my butt? Do I not really know what's going on? Probably not, but let me know. All right, guys, listen. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video, comment down below. I know it, it, it's been a bit since so I uploaded about a week. The holidays came and gone. New Year's Eve's today, so happy New Year to all of you. Happy holidays, of course. Hope you guys had a, had a great week, and hope you guys continue to have a great week. And on to the new year. Let's see what happens. Hopefully the lockout ends soon. Who knows? But all right, guys, thank you all for watching. This is Joe signing out.